What's up, YouTubers? Rough Sack here, bringing you a random car commentary. Now, it's been a while since we've had one of these, so um, I thought I'd uh, throw one in. I've got a nice little uh, quick video um, for you guys to watch while this is happening. I was lucky enough to uh, catch up with Wake Rider Online. It's been a while since I've done that. Uh, so, we had a few games together. Actually, the first game, I've got to apologise to him. I jumped in on him blind. Um, I didn't know what the server was about. It was hardcore. I was trying to lace some press pressing fire um, up a staircase through him so that he would uh, have the drop on some of the guys he was trying to kill. And I ended up putting slugs into the back of him and nearly killing him. So I apologise up front, um, Mr. Wake Rider, sir. But uh, you let me know and um, you had a laugh about it. That's what I like about you, mate. You're a very down-to-earth, um, easy-going guy. And it was uh, great to get on and game with you. I'm actually heading home now from work. Hoping I can do the same, but we'll see, we'll see. So let's get on to things. I've got a few things I just wanted to talk about quickly. First of all, this game. This is a game of Rush that uh, we jumped into. I'm not sure who the other squad member is, one of Wake's friends, no doubt. Um, if I do know you, and I just don't know your um, your PSN name, I do apologise. Uh, no disrespect, but Wake Rider's uh, link to his uh, YouTube will appear in the description below. And if somebody lets me know who the other guy is... I'll put his in too if he's got a YouTube. Anyway, so this was Rush on uh, Dama Van Peak, and this game, if you're watching it now, is uh, basically like the world's sharpest knife slicing through a piece of paper. Um, we just went right through this team. Uh, by the end, quite a few players have pulled out, I think. Um, we jumped in, one end comm was down already. I may have seen that already, I don't know because I'm not watching the footage. So, anyway, yep, nice quick game. The two other things I want to talk about. I probably forget what they are, but I'm not. I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget. I just wanted to update you guys on what's happening on my channel. Um, you may have noticed that I've done a, a Let's Play. Now, I'm trying to do a proper Let's Play series. I'm trying to play all the way through. Uh, giving you some commentary on that on The Walking Dead. Great game. Um, if you're not in Australia, or if you're in Australia, you'll need a, a European or American account to get it. Um, fantastic game. If you like role-playing games, not role-playing, sorry, but sort of adventure games. Uh, if you guys remember the old Choose Your Own Adventure books, it's very much like that. Uh, some people have told me it's very similar to... Uh, what is it? What is it? Was it something Rain? I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. I'm driving. I just looked at a hot girl in a short skirt, and I'm thinking about other things. Anyway, let's not get too sidetracked. Um, <laughs> I've still got... Um, and I've got another one. Uh, I've got another part. I've got part two. Part two. Part two. That's it. Part two coming up. And also... I have uh, three more Sax subscriber shout-outs to do. Now, I'm currently trying to just get some footage for those. This game might have been good enough. I'm not sure. It was a little short. I wanted something a little bit longer. So, anyway, um, I've got a shout-out going to... Who have we got? Uh, AA Fitzy. Uh, we've got Batch, Batch UK. And we've also got my very good friend, the guy that makes me laugh on YouTube probably more than anyone else, Mr. Heasy Feasy. Oh, mate, you're a legend. So anyway, guys, I've got that stuff coming up on my channel. Um, all will be happening over the coming months. Uh, I'm trying not to rush stuff out so much. If I've got something, I'll post it up. You guys know. If I've got a little clip that I enjoy, I'll put some music over and post it up. That's just what I do because that's what I enjoy. I'm not really trying to please the masses as much. But in the fact that we are watching some BF3 footage, I have some other news for you. I will be getting an Xbox 360. Better late than never, they say. Anyway, I'm basically only getting this for BF3 at the moment. So I'm getting the console for free. Um, I'm not going to tell you how. No, there's no scam. It wasn't stolen. Um, nothing like that. Wake Rider didn't give it to me, so I'd mention him in this video. Uh, I'm getting it for nothing. Uh, I may have a little bit of cash left over from how I'm getting it for nothing. Vouchers. Wink, wink. Um, and that will probably go towards getting myself... Either a component cable, because I will need that to record, because I believe it only comes with AV cables, and BF3. So, I haven't made a, an account yet. I'm not even sure how to. I'm not even sure how it works. But I'm going to try and have the same call sign as I have now, which is Rough Sack Dash. Oh, not Rough Sack Dash. Excuse me. Rough Dash Sack. So, I'll try and keep it the same, so it's easy to find, easy to remember. You guys can go ahead and add me. Anyone can add me. I really don't have any qualms with absolutely anybody adding me. None at all. Um, it's basically going to be just for BF3. I know that sounds strange, but 
I really need some decent party chat. Um, PSN just doesn't provide in that respect. When I was on this game with uh, Wake Rider, uh, I was talking and calling stuff out, and I'm pretty sure he could not hear me, because at the end of the game, I'm saying to him, can you hear me, can you hear me, and I heard nothing back. So um, if you did hear me, Wake, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that you didn't, but I can hear you loud and clear. So, I don't know how much of this video is left. Uh, could be a lot, could be a little. Uh, if there is footage left, if I, if I finish talking before the game is over, I'm just going to throw down track, or I might just let the sounds play out for themselves. Enjoy the beautiful, dulcet sounds of BF3. So yeah, guys, this is a, a driving home experience. Um, I do them from time to time. It's just something that I enjoy. It's You know, sometimes you have spare moments, and that's when you like to do your commentaries. Well, this is one of those moments where I have a spare moment because I'm driving from work to home, heading back for a, hopefully a, a, a couple of sessions of BF3. Uh, I want to get some snipers. I want to get some camping snipers, and I want to sit on their heads, and I want to plant C4 on their face, and I want to blow it up. But I want to play Rush as well. I like Rush. Do you guys like Rush? Actually, tell me, guys, in the description below, yeah, along with your other comments, What's your... Oh, big truck going past me. I don't know if you can hear that. Big fucking truck. Big fucking truck! Woo! There it goes. Anyway, what's your favourite game mode in BF3? Um, I don't know. I've, I still prefer Rush. I don't know. I just like... I just like the pace of it. it. Suits me well. On the topic of games. One more quick thing. I had a look at the Blops 2. That's Black Ops 2 video world reveal. And fuck, that is a shit video. Now, some people might have a go at me. I do like the COD series. I have no problem with COD. But that video just does not fucking grab me at all. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think. It's, uh, they're going for the whole future thing, like Future Soldier. Um, and I'm really hoping that BF3 can come out with, um, what was it, 2142? Someone was saying that they're going to come out with 2143. Which is a futuristic, sort of spacey sort of battlefield which was pretty kick-ass. Um, they had some pretty awesome moments in that game. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, are, are you looking forward to, to Blops? I don't know if I am. I mean, if it's anything, if the game is anything to go by judging by the footage, which you can't always from a, a rendered sequence, but I don't know. It just, a lot of the other previews or trailers that come out for games, the whole idea of the trailer is to get you sucked in, get you wanting to play that game before you even really know anything about it. And there's quite a few out there that have sucked me in and done that to me and have gained my interest and have me thinking, okay, will I spend some pennies on that particular game? Um, reviews pending, obviously. I like to uh, see what the masses think before I jump too deeply into a lot of games. BF3 and uh, Modern Warfare 3 were the first two games that I ever pre-ordered for the PS3. Uh, I never really had the urge to do it before that, and I'm a bit sad that I did for um, Modern Warfare 3, although the people I pre-ordered it off did fuck up, and I did get the game for $30, and I will not buy be buying the maps, because what's the point when they release a COD every fucking two days? So, yeah, I know I'm exaggerating, but I'm just saying it just seems ridiculous. I'd rather than work on one game, get two years out of it, have some good maps, uh, fix all the problems, keep it as balanced as they can. There's always going to be little little niggles. Not everyone's going to be happy. But yeah, guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up now because I'm sure I've gone well over the video's time. So guys, uh, this has been Rough Sack. This has been a random car commentary. And I will catch you guys on the other side. <laughs>